In this vlog, I'm in Chiang Rai, Thailand's great northern city, which has a lot to offer, as you'll see in the next couple of vlogs. Your viewing travels with Lobo, Thailand from the north. Vlog number five. If you haven't seen the trailer, have a look. Remember, a vlog is published every Friday. I start with the most majestic walk in downtown Chiang Rai which leads me to the royal family. Very interesting story. I then take you to the B2 Hotel. B2, yes, budget, boutique. Then I have the feature presentation. Jack from Australia talks Chiang Rai, Chiang Mai, and Thailand with some very interesting observations. If you're here just to hear Jack talk, go to 536. So I'm doing uh, one of the great walks in Chiang Rai. Chiang Rai is Thailand's largest northern city. As you go north from here, you pretty well hit Myanmar pretty soon. So I'm surrounded by these golden colors, typical of the uh, royal house of uh, Thailand. And uh, there he is the former King of Thailand, the much beloved late King of Thailand. The previous King was the longest reigning King in the world when he died in 2016. Thais worshipped him as a god even before his death. His picture was everywhere. The reverence for the past King was unparalleled in Thai society. Nevertheless, the royal family was also protected by strict royal defamation laws carrying penalties of up to 15 years in prison. The ascension of his son to the throne in 2016 uh, was, however, not received in the same way. It didn't help when in the first COVID wave, uh, he quarantined in a luxury hotel, renting the whole hotel with an impressive entourage. But this hotel was in the Alps of Germany. The what? The Alps of Germany? He is a Thai king, I believe. It got worse in uh, July 2020 with massive demonstrations in the streets of uh, Bangkok. Uh, university students uh, demanding that the power of the king be curtailed fresh elections, and constitutional reforms. Very, very unusual for Thailand, but not unexpectedly suppressed. It's six o'clock, and all of a sudden, everything comes to a standstill. As I assume they're playing the national anthem. Six o'clock. I wonder if this happens throughout the country. So here I am at the bus station and uh, bus station, train station, wherever there's going to be tribute paid to the king. And uh, as a tourist, uh, well, you got to recognize that. And um, here I am paying my homage to the king. With his son in the background, he is king now. So getting back to this great walk here in downtown Chiang Mai and without further ado there is the golden clock tower in downtown the major attraction in downtown Chiang Rai the clock tower and it appears to be 12 noon good timing right in front of me another clock tower this one is nothing like the one up the street but I like the idea that you know what time it is it's now one o'clock I can check into my hotel at two my hotel is the B2 my room at the B2 B2 stands for budget and boutique actually boutique budget hotel important for me is the coffee, a hot water boiler, some cups, and coffee. Hopefully there's a whitener there. That's the coffee. That's the coffee. And uh, 
whitener. I've really gotten to like this combination. It's not real coffee, but for me, it's good enough. Just a word about the bathroom. It's a nice bathroom, and uh, here I am, right there, having a good time in Thailand, discovering new things. It reminds me of my early days in France many years ago when I was discovering France. Now I'm discovering more of Thailand. Lobo from Chiang Rai. An Australian giving lessons Seems okay. on how to operate a motorbike. These two ladies just came around the corner out of control. I don't know whether he knows them or, or not. But they were sort of in a panic when they came around the corner, not knowing how to control the damn thing. Too many, too many tourists get on these things without knowing how to operate them, which can have devastating results. I wouldn't touch one with a 10-foot pole, not here in Thailand. I ran into a very interesting gentleman who is from Australia, he used to be formerly from Queensland. Your name, sir, is? Jack. Jack, Jack, you got some interesting impressions of Thailand. You've been here for 12 years. On and off for 12 years, but the last four years I've been here nearly full time. And you said it was in Chiang Mai that, that you... Uh... I used to be in Chiang Mai a lot, but it's... I think I've outgrown Chiang Mai, or Chiang Mai's outgrown me. I don't know which one. And is. for what reason? Oh, it's, it's become very clogged. The roads... Uh, it's, out, it's, it's just taken off. It's... Um, a lot of Westerners have come there, expats, a lot of uh, Thais have moved there from Bangkok and it's just become very congested. Um, you say some people think of it as a mini uh, Bangkok now, Yeah, right? they refer to it as a, as a mini Bangkok right, because right. you've got traffic jams, whereas 12 years ago you got elephants walking down the street at night. That's all stopped, so... Right. Yeah. But we're now in the city further north towards the Myanmar border and yeah. uh, we're in Chiang Rai. Chiang Rai. And what's your impression of this city here? Well, it's a lot easier to get around. Um, you don't see the traffic jams because it, it isn't as big and um, probably a little bit more laid back. Uh, Chiang Mai can be a bit, a little bit in your face if you're yeah. in the yeah. wrong street. Right, right. Um, but they seem to accept us here quite easy. Yeah, it's which, which is important, right? Yeah. It's, uh, um, if, you, right. if you speak a little bit of Thai, they'll gravitate to you. Some of them will probably ask you, where do you come from? Yeah. yeah. Um, you were saying a few things about the operating a motorcycle here, and uh, oh, oh, oh. What, what are your impressions there? That, I see that gets a laugh from you. <laughs> it's, a, it's a joke, isn't it, for foreigners to come here and uh, hop on a, on a motorbike? Well, if you haven't got an international or a Thai license, and, the police love you because they know you got money in your pocket. <laughs> right, 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 yeah, yeah. But the thing about it is you cannot ride Western style here. You have to learn how the Thais ride a motorbike because if you ride like they do, they know what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. If you ride Western style, you can have an accident. And the worst thing to do is have an accident. Right, right, right. Because even if a tie hits you, you're at fault and you'll have to pay. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. And you hurt you hurt a Thai's motorbike or a Thai person, they'll they'll be after you for money and then if you're on a rental bike the rental shop will be after you for money and it's bad news. It can be. And yet uh, you have been here in Thailand uh, off and on for twelve years, so yeah. that you you do like this place, right? Oh sure. It's, I uh, mean as an Australian you could be going to Bali, right? No, there's too many Australians already there causing ha <laughs> havoc and getting into trouble and making world news. So, so that's why you're you're here. Yeah, I haven't been to Bali. I haven't <laughs> been to Vietnam yet, but that's next on my list. But so. Viet Vietnam is really nice, yeah. really nice. My my wife and I just did a tour of Myanmar, and it's really, really a very interesting country. It's very interesting. Yeah, I did country. Myanmar five years ago, but it was a bad time. There was still a lot of trouble. That's right, that's right. But, uh, but now now it's free travel and... Uh, yeah, I went great. there, there was trouble with Buddhists and Muslims. There was people got killed in the 
streets and the police were back or the army was back doing roadblocks. It was a 9 great, p.m. Great, great. curfew and it just put a damp dampener on the place. So. Exactly, yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, it's been a super pleasure talking to you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so, so much. You're welcome. Thank you for viewing and uh, I hope you learned something new in this vlog. I know I did. And uh, we'll be back in Chiang Rai next Friday to show you some of the nightlife some of the excitement, some of the vibes of this great city in northern Thailand. See you next Friday.